All right, so today I'm gonna to show you some tips with using the Zero Screen Cleaner. And first I'm actually gonna show you how to set it up as far as how to put the legs down. And then we're gonna clean some screens that I need to clean for my own house. And I'm just gonna show you some tips of what I do. Really a very simple video overall. Um, so most important thing when you set this up, bring all the legs up like this and then set them down like this on top of those so that when it is down, it doesn't really rock. Other big tip, try to use this on a flat surface like this, makes it nice as far as not rocking. And then also when I clean the screens, I do put my foot here as well. I use some quick connects for the hose, so I attach that here and that will bring water to the unit. You don't need anything crazy as far as using um, pure water or anything, you can just reuse regular tap water. Let me turn the water on. And then right here, you have a little on-off valve. If you need to use it, you can turn the water on and off. Back on. So I only use this screen cleaner two different ways, really. If the screen is very clean, let's just say this one's probably actually the cleanest one I have. Really, all I do, put my foot down there and then just swipe it through a few times. Circle it around, cycle it through some more. That's pretty much it. Hit, hit, hit with the towel a couple times, and then wipe the frame. That's if the screens are not too bad. My screens are, this is gonna be the cleanest one because I clean it all the time. Make sure to never place screens against a car like this. This is pretty bad, but this is my car, so I'm okay with it. If they're really dirty, what I have in here is just a little bit of Meyer soap and water. Squirt them just a little bit of that, or have a squirt bottle just to uh, lather it up with soap a little bit. And then really work it through, side to side. If you can go long ways, go long ways. Really thoroughly get the screen. And then hit that off, hit that off. Do the same thing as we just did with the other one. And then just hit your frames with the microfiber. And that's it. And the screen is pretty freaking clean. I think screens just get as good as they get. And that's about it with screens. Sometimes I find I need to wipe this area just a little bit extra with the microfiber when I put the screen in. But that's as quick as it is for cleaning screens. And you have like larger screens like this and there can be a lot larger screens than this. Um, what I like to do is not always go long ways, but you can just do exactly what we did there. Get that underside really good. Underside, I don't know what the underside would be on a screen really. Do that. Just make sure that when you go long way, that you don't like bow the screen, right? You just bring it through straight. I found that to be important long ways you can really get a screen really really clean with this that's the nice thing that's why it's such a popular 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 tool and when possible customers see this usually when you're using it at someone's home they always want to ask you questions about it so it starts up conversation as crazy as it sounds now it sounds really sales pitchy but it's true if you talk to anyone that has one it like gets them more work because these aren't sold at Home Depot or Lowe's or anything, but that's pretty much it with the Zero Screen Cleaner as far as how I clean screens with it. If the screens are broken in the corners at all or anything, I don't. But uh, I don't, you know, use that. I would just use my mop and a microfiber and clean them that way. As you can see here, these aren't crazy dirty, but if I just swipe it through a couple times, it's got some residual soap on there from the other one. Pop it on there. Give it a good wipe with the microfiber. So I hit my mirror on my truck. Give it a couple hits. Looking pretty, pretty good. 
from what it was. So those are just a few tips for using the zero screen cleaner. Uh, like I said too, make sure to put your foot down usually on this. That's a good way to do it. Your shoes are gonna get a little wet. Um, and make sure to set your legs correctly. And that's about it as far as using the zero screen cleaner on cleaning your screens.